Hi, and welcome to Physics Fundamentals. I'm your host, Angie, and today we're going to be talking about the physics of skateboarding. Do you know how skateboarding first got started? Larry Stevenson is considered by many to be the godfather of skateboarding. And in the 60s, while working as a lifeguard, he noticed surfers using crude skateboards in the parking lot. This inspired him to design the first professional skateboard that had a surf-like feel. He coined the phrase surf skate and put it on his board. And in 1963, Larry formed the world's first skateboard team and the world's first skateboard competition. The first commercially sold skateboard was called the Bum Board. It was built by Alf Jensen and was made with steel wheels and sold for $2.88. The name Bun Board comes from the hickory boards that local bakers use to bake buns. And the first mass-produced skateboard was called the Roller Derby Skateboard. In the early 70s, Frank Naysworthy developed a skateboard with polyurethane wheels. He called his company Cadillac Wheels. Prior to this new material, wheels were made with clay and metal. The improvement in traction and performance was so immense that the popularity of skateboarding started to rise rapidly. Skateboarders started to skate the vertical walls of swimming pools that were left empty in the 1976 California drought. This started the vert trend in skateboarding. With increased control, vert skaters could skate faster and perform more extreme tricks. In 2016, it was announced that skateboarding would be represented in the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo. And due to the pandemic, competitions took place in the summer of 2021, where their two disciplines were represented, street and park. Today, we have a skateboarding question from a student named Emma. Emma, what's your question? Hi, my name is Emma. I'm 12 years old. I go to Palm Beach Community School. I was watching the women skateboarding during the Olympics, and I have a couple of questions. How do skateboarders stay in the air when they don't have their skateboard? Wouldn't gravity pull them down? Also, how can I improve my ollies? Hmm, I know someone that can answer your question. His name is Derek Stein. He is a professor and nanoscience researcher here at Brown University. He loves figuring out how small things work and inventing new uses for them. Derek? That's a great question, Emma. Skateboarders seem to be capable of magic, the way they get high up in the air with the skateboard stuck to their feet. The ollie is the skateboarding trick that's at the heart of it all. The ollie is a trick where a skater jumps off off the ground with the skateboard following her up. It seems like magic because the skater is somehow able to bring the board off the ground without ever reaching underneath it. In fact, the skateboarder's feet touches the top of the board at all times during the trick. To help understand how an ollie works, I have two physicists here to help out, Jacob and former ollie world record holder Nick. So how does that work? The trick starts with the skater standing on top of the board. The first thing they do is jump upward by pushing down with both feet. This part of the trick is easy to understand because the skater is just jumping up from the board the way you would jump up from solid ground. The purpose of this part of the trick is to get your center of gravity moving upward. Another way of saying this is the skater is gaining upward momentum by pushing down with their legs. The next part of the trick is super important. Before the skater is completely left the board, you need to raise your front foot and then at the same time kick down with the back foot. By pushing down really hard on the tail, it causes the middle and the front of the board to pop up. In other words, by pushing down, the center of gravity of the board, which is the middle, is coming up and it too is gaining upward momentum. In my opinion, this is the most magical part of the trick because the skater has found a way to get the skateboard to move upward 
without actually pushing the skateboard upward. By pushing down on the tail, the skater causes the board to pivot around the back wheels, and that's what brings the center of gravity upward. During this phase, it's actually the ground that's pushing the board upward, and the ground is actually pushing upward with a greater force than the weight of the board itself. In fact, if you want to get a sense of this part of the trick, take a fork and put it down flat on a table with the tines pointing up. Push down hard on the tines and you'll see that fork flip upward. So now we're in a situation where the center of gravity of the skater and of the board are both moving upward. But the board is also rotating backward. If it were left on its own, it would flip over backward, front over back. So in the next phase of the ollie, the skater uses their feet to do two things at once. First, they'll use their feet to stop the backward rotation of the board and keep it from flipping over. Second, they'll use their feet to pull the board even higher into the air. The key to this part of the ollie is for the skater to bring their foot up and forward a little bit. In doing that, the skater is catching the top of the board and preventing it from flipping over backward. But in bringing their foot upward, the skater is also generating a friction force on the top of the board that pulls it even higher. In the last phase of the ollie, the skater is just keeping their feet gently in contact with the top of the board. The skater's given themselves upward momentum by jumping and the board's been given upward momentum by kicking on the tail and dragging up with the front foot. So now they're both in position to coast through the air together for as long as gravity will let them. In fact, at this point, they're barely touching the board at all with their feet. It's a lot like when you dribble a basketball. When you dribble a basketball, your hands can be in touch with it for a long time, both while it's rising and while it starts falling again. The skateboarder is doing something very similar with their feet, keeping in contact as the board rises and pressing down ever so lightly as both the board and the skater start falling down again. If you pay attention to skateboarding, you'll see that lots of tricks work just like an ollie. Skaters will throw spins, twists, and grabs into the mix. But both the skater and the skateboard are getting up into the air in a way that works just like the ollie. If you have any science questions, please email us at physicsfundamentals at gmail.com. Bye for now.